Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with an update to the Ravel Starsky and Hutch Ford Torino. And before I get into talking about the kit itself, I did want to point out a problem with the instructions that I came across. And that is right here in the first step, as you're working on the engine, the instructions tell you to put the intake manifold in backwards. And this is not correct. Uh, it should be with the distributor toward the front of the engine, like pretty much all Ford motors ever. And the box art is correct, but this is not. And it's also confusing because the way that the parts are keyed, they can only go together one direction. So, as usual, do lots of test fitting. But other than that problem, everything so far really goes together nicely. The parts just about snap together. Alignment is excellent. And generally, it builds up to a nice looking piece. It's not perfect. If you look here, the way that the belt goes into the alternator, it actually goes into the side of the alternator fan rather than the pulley. So that's kind of ugly. And the back of the alternator is hollow. Fortunately, those aren't really visible once it's in the car. And I know some people have been disappointed that the distributor was cast as part of the intake manifold, but to me it really doesn't look that bad, and I think with a little wiring added on top of it, you won't even really notice. One thing that I do really like about it is Ravel actually cast it so that there are dimples in the top of the distributor towers, so for those of us that like to drill it out and add wires, it was very helpful. They actually set it up in a way so that the drill tries to center itself rather than the usual drill tries to wander off the side. So much appreciation to the folks at Ravel for that. I also have the chassis just about finished. And like the engine, the fit on this is really nice. Uh, the alignment holes for the exhaust system snapped everything together really quickly and cleanly. Generally things lined up really nicely. And the front end is actually a pretty nice delicate piece. Considering that's all cast as one thing, and like the distributor, the exhaust tips are drilled out. So that was kind of cool. The fit on the rear end, especially right around the differential, is not as clean as it could be, but a little extra putty on that would take care of it. And again, no real complaints there. And the last thing that I've been working on is the hood. If you saw the kit review, you saw that there were some dimples in it from the casting process. And so I've just put some thin layers of Tamiya spot putty here and there. And I'll be sanding those off later today. Overall, I'm very happy with what Ravel's done with this kit. There are a few little details that I would have done differently, and if I wasn't trying to build this as a pretty much box stock, I would probably change out, uh, especially that belt assembly. It's just an ugly thing there. But otherwise, the way that the parts all fit together, the overall look of it, uh, everything is nice and sharp. It's really very little flash that I've had to clean up. Overall, I'd say this kit is a winner. The next things for me are to finish off the engine, and I've also got the interior in the paint booth right now, so I'll be assembling that and getting this on its wheels in the next day or two. Okay, so I'll be sanding off the hood, and if that looks good, I'll get this in some paint, and I'll have it just about wrapped up by this time next week. So check back then to see the progress. Thanks for watching.